people, New Hampshire, maple syrup, it's hand in hand. Although, it's usually in the spring is when all the sap's running. It's the freshest in the spring. <laughs> it's the freshest in the spring, but of course we have the glass bottles and we have right. a whole host of products so you can enjoy maple syrup all year round. So Paula, first of all, good morning. morning. How are you? Hi, Annie. Missed you last time. I know. I'm glad to see you again. Um, so we're talking maple syrup products because a lot of people come to New Hampshire, they want to bring something home. Zeb's General Store has them covered. Let's go over a couple of these products that you brought in. Alrighty. Well, of course, you've got the maple syrup. This is our grade A light, our grade A medium, and the grade A dark amber. This is our private label for us by Fuller Sugar House in um, Lancaster. Oh, there you That's go. That's the one we chose. Now, which one is your favorite of the of the sort of the I, the medium for medium. this is very light. That's light, uh, like almost. It's too fancy mm. for the, the pancakes. The medium is great on the pancakes and the dark amber for cooking. For cooking? For baking, if you can. Now, what would you baking. put on top of ice cream? Uh, the light amber. Oh, okay. That's really nice even on a sherbet or mm. sorbet. I'm working on a maple sorbet recipe. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, we were talking about ice cream. You have an ice cream maker, and I just picked up the Yonana, which yeah. is sort of a soft serve yeah. uh, ice cream ish type thing. And uh, it's great in the summertime because yes. you can make your own, you can add whatever you want. So maple syrup is one of your ingredients going and to be. Yeah, my mother's a diabetic and her favorite ice cream is maple walnut ice cream. And she's 94 and you can't say you're not having it. So I've made her maple walnut ice cream using the light amber maple syrup. That's awesome. Yeah. Now for people that just want to pick and go, don't have their ice cream makers right. with them, you also have a huge selection of... Maple candy. Yeah, maple candy. And these are great for gifts as well. They, and they last long. And you know, it's all made from the boil. When they boil, you know, to boil down, it's 34 gallons of sap to one gallon of syrup or eight and a half pounds, or eight pounds of sugar, maple Amazing. sugar, which I have here. And also okay. in a bag for baking. Okay, so what, what, so sure, what they do what is, is then, <gasps> once it's boiled down, it's good into the temperature and the speed of what they're doing, You'll get syrup, then they go to the maple sugars, they, they dry that. Mm. You have this maple. This is organic too. Yeah, and the, and the maple butter or maple cream that you'll see, it's really good on English muffins and mm. toasts, things like that. Yeah, my kids love that. Yeah, and it's just the speed of which the air is whipped through. Hmm. And you'll see when it settles, if you can see there oh, where yeah. it's settled behind the label, you just shake it up or you know, so whip it a... with a whisk or your hand mixer and it will come right back. Mm, because that's... like the honey, it, it really doesn't spoil. Right. You do refrigerate it after it's opened Okay. with the, with the maple butter. That looks so but good. But really, it's just air and maple syrup. Yummy. Maple butter. Thank Great you. alternative for the toast. Yep. And you have a little lollipop little action. Lollipops, maple Love lollipops. You gotta have a little maple leaf lollipop when you come to New Hampshire, of course. And you have the candies as well. Yeah, the maple drops. Boink. There you go. And we, we can buy those in bulk also. Okay, great. And now we have what else? Well, we what have those? some butternut mountain gives us this. They've got some maple sugar seasoning and the maple syrup. And these are baked to make maple baked beans. They're delish. No way. You, yeah, so how long does this take, this process of doing this? Soak these overnight. Uh -huh. And then you, if you bake them in a crock pot, they might go faster. I like to do my baked beans in the oven at about 200, and they take six or eight hours. Oh, my gosh. Really? Yeah, yeah but the, the smell. Oh, yeah. I bet that's the incredible. Bears I've will be out of the woods. I've never had homemade baked beans before. <laughs> You've never done that? No, i got to come hang out with you, Paul. Yeah, you're you like it. making all these tasty treats. Well, so you know. good. That's how they do them. They used to do them in the stones right. and the ash in the holes, the, the bean hole dinners and all of that. This is the, an organic Ooh, maple syrup from Mount Cabot Maple in Jefferson, New Hampshire. And uh, he's the only organic one we have from New Hampshire. This is a beautiful bottle. Yeah, isn't it? Organic unblended. Yeah. So he doesn't take anybody else. It's like one of the more popular commercial ones you'll see everywhere is a blend of New England and Canadian. It's not always huh. just New Hampshire. Uh -huh. Our private label from Fuller's is just New Hampshire. I did not know that. This, oh, see, now they give examples of how to use maple syrup. Fresh fruit, yep. drizzled over that, plain yogurt, ice cream, you can use in a maple vinaigrette, mm -hmm. yummy, or slice of cheesecake, or best of all, sipped from a tiny glass with a bit of fresh cream. I'm so hungry. <laughs> that sounds delicious. We put it in coffee. 
Oh, and you know, coffee. we sell maple yeah. coffee, huh. but occasionally, you know, if we sell the little jiggers, like a little nip. You put it in coffee, it's really nifty. <laughs> and then here we nifty. have, so the children. Ooh, and the kids at heart, of course. The, the maple cotton candy, that's from Jed's in uh, Vermont. We also carry jelly beans, maple jelly beans wow. over there. Wow, and yeah. the ingredients in this, cane sugar and maple sugar. Yeah. That's it. So that's we'll take an good. awful lot of trees to make one of those, so <gasps> they do it with the cane syrup. Now, we are always getting calls about what's the difference, blah, 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 you know, what do you use the light? Do you, somebody asked us right. for a, a, a gray D brown sugar. I said, we it's never dark. heard of it. But these go from light to dark, so people can buy this sample. A lot of people take these home as mm. gifts to people, and they can pick then what they like. Wonderful. Now, Paula, if they can't make it into the shop, which I recommend that they do because it is quite the experience going into the old-fashioned general store feeling yeah. of it, and there's just so many products. Uh, every nook and cranny is filled right. with something. A lot of maple syrup products, but a lot of other stuff, too. Right. You have some clothing. You have what else? Clothing, food, uh, cheeses, mm. more snacks than you know what to do with a giftware, a jewelry. Body care section. Body care, the whole for personal care is on the first mm -hmm. floor. It has a room unto itself. We have a kitchen section, and of course, uh, we have a Christmas section. We have uh, some CDs, not as many as we used to have, mm -hmm. but we do have the ones um, from Porter Music in Vermont. You've come in and heard the music box mm -hmm. going. The CDs from that, if it says, you know, love songs, it's all in music box format. Huh. Our biggest seller on those is the Christmas CDs. What do you mean music box format? Well, what you hear that? music box go bing, 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 right. you know. Then the CD is all recorded songs that are, you know, the big copper discs yeah. are punched. Huh. So that, I mean, we've got Irish songs that we play. When Irish Eyes are Smiling, we play that all during March. And we have a CD of probably 16 of the Irish songs that are music box oh, recordings. Oh, cool. All right, and they can find it also online if they can't get into the store. Zebs.com. Zebs.com. And also, getting a little bit ahead of ourselves, but not for people that like to plan ahead, right. is gifts, gifts and shipping. Uh, how do they do that? What's the easiest process? You'll, Go online. You can build your own basket online, or if you come in the store, we've had we have a couple that comes every year from Illinois in August on their honeymoon. They stay at the Kiosage Inn, and they come in and plan their Christmas gift baskets, get it all I down. I want to be on their list, and <laughs> we have them ready. And they tell us when they want them shipped, yeah. and we will do that. You can come in and build your own basket. We have grab and go baskets. A well, great gift is oh, I should have brought one. Uh, we have a, the syrup, our syrup, mm -hmm. and pancake mix. Mm. And it's like, thank you for, you know, there's a dog and a cat on it, and it might take care of my baby. You know, That's we, a great you idea. Know, yeah. One's with the cat, one's with the dog, one's with both. Thank you for teacher, this, that, and you could check off. And it's kind of whimsical, and people go, oh, half a dozen of those. Absolutely. You know, Multi-purpose. Yeah. Well, awesome. Well, Paula, thank you so much for coming on. Always a pleasure to oh, see you. Oh, it's always fun. And uh, for folks, Zebs is located right in North Conway Village. It's an easy find. You can park right in front, yellow building, and just look for the yellow aprons as well if you need any help in the store. Now, Paula, before I let you go, what's your pick of something new or something old, favor in the store that they must see? Oh. Something. Oh, I should Why didn't you ask me this a week ago? So You're right. Think about it. <laughs> Because this is spur of the store. moment, Paula. That's how we live around here. I, it is. Do you have a favorite food? A jam? A jelly? Uh, I salsa? Love, my favorite jam mm. in the store is the Apple Hill Farm Spice Blueberry. Spice? Spice Blueberry. blueberry. It's very subtle, but boy, it beats the regular jam. I love this. It's just like blueberry. a peanut butter and jelly jam, or what do you Oh, English muffins. Ooh, yeah. You know, uh, if you don't have a lot of blueberries, mm. it, you know, if you don't freeze them, like mm. I freeze them now and pour them into containers, right. but come the middle of uh, winter, if you've run out of blueberries, you can take some of that and stir it into the batter when you're making your muffins, oh. but it is very good on on toast or something like that. That it's sounds delicious. I really do have to come from, hang out from with Apple you. Hill. <laughs> awesome. And, well, Paula, you know, in the in the holidays, holiday harvest barns, um, all the spices, the lobster bisque dip. Lobster bisque, bisque dip. dip. They used to send it to us to make bit lobster bisque. That was the recipe on right. it, and we said, let's try a dip. We tried a dip, and just like a pita chip thing. What yep. do you dip? Um, and we we 
kept ordering it like 24 dozen at a time. The girl called, she said, how are you making all this lobster bisque in the summer? And I said, we don't, we're making dip. And she, oh. So now she's made dip and now it's on the um, label, inside of the label. She's got three or four recipes, one Fantastic. for the bisque, one for the dip, and a few other ways to ah, use it. Very cool. That, that's something to have in your freezer. And even if you only use a tablespoon at a time, it comes in a little Ziploc bag. I always put it in another big Ziploc bag, keep your dip mixes in the freezer and they'll last forever. Wow. Well, Paula, thank you so much. We have to have you on every week. That's I'd it. Love You're to like be, Paula's you know. tip of the week for the kitchen slash freezing <laughs> and cooking and that's pretty awesome stuff. Well, thanks again, Paula. All right.